Hello, my friend, and welcome. This is a little bit of a show and tell today. Uh, it's about food. It's about what goes into your body to help you be healthy. And this is what I've learned at the Hippocrates Institute. Most of this comes from that. I spent a few years studying with them and um, it has been my diet for, for many years, at least for the past 20 years. This has been my diet and it's extremely healthy. There are many, many different diets that you hear about and people try and do different things and you need to find what works for you. But there's a few things that I think are very important across all diets. One is you want to have your food be natural and organic, not filled with chemicals or not having any chemicals at all. You want to be completely natural and free. And the other thing that you want is you want to have your food be as close to its source, as close to coming right out of the ground as possible. And this is why I use sprouts. This is a, a tray of sprouts which are grown right in my kitchen, inside of my kitchen, all grown completely. The, these are um, sunflower greens, sunflower sprouts here, and these are broccoli sprouts. And I have them in all my smoothies and all my salads. It's something that I can grow right here. So this is as close to the source as you can get. And in its sprout form, it has more nutrition than you have in, in the full grown broccoli. These sprouts have far more nutrition than the full grown broccoli that you might get in a store, far more nutrition than that in its sprout form. If you get food at the store, if you're buying food at the store, you want to only get organic food. And if you can get it locally grown through a farmer's market or, you know, a place, a, a store that will have food that comes from a source that's local. So there's not a lot of shipping. There's not a lot of time uh, for the food to, for, to lose its vitality and its vitamins and its enzymes. This is a, a locally grown um, kale, which I make my salads from. It's beautiful, isn't it? You know, this is probably not, I just got it today and it's probably not more than a day or two old. So it's very, very fresh, perfect for making a dinner. If you're as close as you can, you want to get food close to the, the source, as close to the source as you can. If you are fortunate enough to have a garden or space to have a garden and you can grow more than sprouts, you can grow your own kale, your own spinach, your own vegetables, then you're going to have a much healthier diet because the longer the food is out of the ground, the more it loses its nutrition. And the other thing that's important that I learned in Hippocrates, this may be not something you're so used to, is that you don't want to cook your food. If you cook food over 108 degrees, it kills the enzymes. It kills all the enzymes in the food, which you need. And also uh, reduces dramatically the, the vitamins in it. So if you, if you can eat food raw, you're far better off eating food raw. It's going to be much more healthy. It's going to have much more vitality, much more vitamins in it. Usually what I do is I start off in the morning and I have a, a glass of water first. And then um, a, a mixture of, of this is called, um, it's E3 Live. This is E3 Live, and this I get at the health food store, frozen. It's uh, algae that comes from a, a lake in Oregon, and it's one of the most primitive foods that you can get. Very, very healthy for you. This one has uh, more than 65 vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and essential fatty acids, and it's in its most primitive form, even more primitive th than a vegetable is. This is algae, so it's, it's a wonderful thing to use. I also, um, you can see in this picture, I have these cubes that are frozen and that's wheatgrass. I used to grow my own wheatgrass and juice it. I have a juicer, so I grew my own wheatgrass and I juice that. But this is, is more convenient 
and I'm a little bit lazy. So this is frozen and it's grown outside, which I found the sprouts are easy to grow. The sprouts, I have no, I've never had any problem growing sprouts, but wheatgrass is a little bit challenging because unless there's a breeze blowing through, unless the, the conditions are right inside, um, it gets fungi, fungi on it and things like that. And you have to treat it in a certain way, which I never have to do with the sprouts. But wheatgrass, I had a little bit of problem with that. And, and this wheatgrass is grown outside in Canada, out in these enormous fields. So it's got the wind, it's got the sun, it's got all the things that it needs. And then it flash freezes it and sends it to you in cubes. It's delicious. And uh, wheatgrass is also a very healthy thing. That's part of the Hippocrates diet is juicing, smoothies and things like that. So in the morning after I have the, the wheatgrass and the E3 Live, the uh, blue green algae, then I usually do a workout. And, and after the workout, then I have a smoothie. And the smoothie, as you can see, is I'm using um, one of the things I use is uh, this um, Garden of Life raw organic meal. But just like vitamins, you can't get everything from this. You need to have it from food. So this is just part of what I put in the smoothie. I also use uh, kale and um, sauerkraut because you need to have your, your probiotics. Sauerkraut is a wonderful way to get probiotics. You need that. So I put sauerkraut in and I put kale in and I put the sprouts in. You can see the sprouts that I have there too. So you need that as well as, as, as putting any mix. You have to put in actual food into it, actual greens into it. I often put in a banana and, um, and now because we're going through this coronavirus, I, I put in, uh, a clove or two of raw garlic, turmeric, raw turmeric, and raw ginger. These are all helpful for your immune system. They're a type of medicine. As I said in the beginning, um, Hippocrates the, is the father called the father of medicine, and he was known to say, "Let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food." And that's sort of the foundation of the. Hippocrates philosophy. And also it's been my, the foundation of my philosophy for food, for eating. I look at food and say, what kind of medicine is this? If you go into the average grocery store or even a health food store, you find that most of the food there is, is a medicine that's not very good for you. It has some chemicals in it. It's not completely natural. So this E3 Live, it's packaged, right? But what's in it is E3 Live. That's it. There's nothing else added to it. When I make my uh, this too, what's in this? Food, just food. But it's not in the form of, of, uh, of this. This is in its more natural form. So it's healthier for you than a powder. And when I do my salad, when I do my salad after the smoothie, for dinner, I have a salad, a raw salad. Everything is raw. I don't cook any food. So I use this uh, beautiful bowl, which I've used for 20 years, a wooden bowl. And uh, I fill this all the way up. It's a, it's a wonderful thing the way I do salad. The, these salads that I make are when you've been to a, a, a bring your own food party where people are supposed to bring a meal, right, and share a meal. And uh, when I go to these parties, there are people sometimes have cooked food and things like that. I'm not telling people how they should eat or what they should do. I'm just suggesting this is a way to do it. And it is, it's been proven in my own body to be extremely healthy for the past 20 years. And if you know anything about Hippocrates, you know that, that they've uh, healed people of stage four cancer. Many hundreds of people have been healed from stage four cancer simply by the diet and lifestyle that they recommend. That's it. Just the diet and lifestyle that they recommend. And part of that is all raw food, all food as natural as it can be. Because we don't, the food in the United States has been the earth has been depleted and there's been chemicals put into it and it just hasn't been farmed right. So most of the food that's grown, especially if it's not organic, has very little vitamins and minerals that you need. You know, that's why you want to get it as close to the source and, and you want to make sure that it's organic. So 
for for dinner, the salad that I make that that people love. When I take this to a, a share place, it's usually the most popular thing. People go, "What is that salad dressing? What did you do? What? How did you make this salad?" And they like it better than everybody else's stuff, and they keep asking me to bring it. And it's very very simple. I learned this from Hippocrates. It's a very, very simple thing, but it is absolutely delicious. So this is the kind of kale that I use for the salad. And um, this olive oil, what's the ingredient? If you look at any packaged food and you look in the ingredient, and if there's anything in the ingredient that's more than just the food, so what's the ingredient in this olive oil? Olive oil. That's it. There's nothing else but olive oil in it. So that's safe. And... Uh, so part of what I do is olive oil and salt. This is South Celtic sea salt. And what's the ingredient in this Celtic sea salt? Salt. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing but salt in here. So what you do is you, you take the quite a bit of the oil, of the olive oil. You tear off the leaves of, of the uh, kale. You tear off leaves into, into small pieces. Usually I don't use the stalk in it. I just use the leaf part of it. And the stalk is very healthy, so I save that to put in the smoothie in the morning. So you take the leaves off and rip them into small pieces. And basically, you'll fill up a bowl like this, essentially. This will pretty much fill up this bowl. But when you're, what you do is you put the olive oil on top, you put the salt on top of that, and then you knead it like bread. If you've ever made bread, you know about kneading bread. If you've ever made bread, you like, you just squeeze it. You just squeeze it repeatedly. You keep rolling it around and squeezing it and squeezing it and squeezing it. And what you're doing is you're breaking the outer, um, the outer membrane of, of the kale and it's absorbing the olive oil and absorbing the salt into it. You just keep kneading it, crushing it as this. And, you know, you go from a great big bowl, it's filled to the top with it, down to about a third of that is what you're left because you're squeezing it all together. And that's the base of the salad. It's amazingly wonderful. It's in tastes incredible. And then you put avocados in. I always use avocados. I have at least two avocados a day. You put avocados in and uh, whatever else you want, whatever else you want to mix in with it. One of the things that I always put in is um, seaweed. Oh, I didn't think I brought in the seaweed um, piece. Anyways, um, I, oh, here it is. Yeah, I use dulse for this. Dulse is a wonderful seaweed. And seaweed has a lot of minerals in it, vitamins, things that you need. And again, this package includes what? Dulse. There's nothing else. Nothing's added. Just dulse. So if you ever buy packaged food, which you generally shouldn't, you need to um, make sure that the only ingredient is the food. And most packaged food is filled with chemicals and other things that are really harmful for you. So after you've done that, you have your base and then you mix in whatever else you want to put into it. This dulse seaweed is, is very important, is wonderful. Avocados, carrots, whatever else you want to put in. And as you stir it in, it takes the, the flavor of the olive oil and salt together. It sort of mixes it and flavors all the different things you put into it. You have to try it to experience it. You have to, to do it and taste it. You know, use your own judgment about how much oil. Usually it's, it's quite a bit of oil. There's usually a little bit at the bottom, you know, a little bit of, of the, at the bottom as well. And that's what's helping all the other uh, vegetables that you put in absorb that. And it just is amazing. I wouldn't have it every day because there's quite a lot of oil in it. You know, you want to have a healthy oil. Olive oil is a good healthy oil. Avocados are a good healthy oil. Um, coconut oil is a healthy oil. So these are healthy oils that you need, but you don't need too much of them. <laughs> so this meal has a lot of oil. So I only make this kind of a salad once a week. Ordinarily, then I'll make other salads. Uh, you know, I'll make a, a seaweed salad, something with just seaweed. I'll make um, a spinach salad. So different kinds of salads that, that you can make. But this is one of the best, <laughs> one of the most, it's my favorite meal and the most delicious meal. So that's about it. You know, it's, it's you want to keep everything fresh, organic, without any chemicals. 
for the past 20 years, I've made sure that I have no chemicals in my life. You know, if I go to the store and I say, well, I need to get soap, I'll ask in a health food store, what has the least chemicals or no chemicals in it? And that's all. I don't care about anything else. I just want to make sure there's no chemicals in it. You know, so soap, anything that you get, make sure that there's, there's no chemicals in it or if there has to be, you know, just the most limited chemicals. Vitamins are, are wonderful to have, but your vitamins should come from food, mostly and hopefully entirely from food, because you're not going to get the same kinds of vitamins from even the best vitamins you can get at a health food store. Even this, which is filled with vitamins and just about every kind of food you can imagine, and it says, you know, raw whole meal to have a whole meal, but that's not enough. I'm not going to just have this. I don't count on that. I need to put in the kale and everything else into it too, a banana, avocado, you know, and other things have to go into the, into the uh, mix, the turmeric, the ginger, the um, cloves of, of uh, raw garlic. Those are medicine. So you don't always need to have that. It gives it a nice tangy uh, for the smoothie, a nice tangy sort of a hot kind of bite to it, but you don't have to put those in all the time, but they're, they're a form of medicine. So, you know, now is the time to do it. You can do it every day. I'm doing it every day now, you know, but, but you don't have to always do it. Generally in the summer, it makes the smoothie a little bit too hot. And I don't want that, you know, I'd rather not have that, but you know, if I need it, if, if I have a cold or something, I'll definitely do that. So let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. You know, this is really how to live a healthy life. Western medicine offers us all kinds of pharmaceutical products. And before 20, year, before 20 years ago, I used to use them. You know, if I had a cold, I would go and I would get uh, antihistamines and things so that I wouldn't be sneezing or that so my throat wouldn't be sore or wouldn't be coughing, cough suppressants. I'd use all the same kind of stuff everybody did. Allergy medicines, everything like that. But it turns out that those things are really harmful because when you're sneezing, it's your body that's, that's doing that to heal you. When you have a fever, it's your body doing that to heal you. You know, when you have a sore throat, it's your body doing that to heal you. Your, your, uh, you know, the, the, um, the toxins are being drawn out of your body and stored in, in these, uh, in, in, on the sides of your, of your throat to be released, right? So everything that happens in your body that we call like a symptom of illness is actually healing for us. And, and by going to the pharmacy, we're repressing all that. So we're having a cold that lasts longer than it would if we just let it go through us naturally. You know, the more natural you can be, the healthier you will be. That's always gonna be true. The more natural you can be, the healthier you're going to be. The more you can eat, if you have a garden, the more you can eat food that comes right out of your garden immediately. As soon as you take it out, eat it. That's the healthiest food that you're going to get. That's why the sprouts are so good. You know, I hope this helps you just figure out your own way to have a diet. I don't want to give you a whole diet of everything that I do. I want you to experiment yourself and find out what works for you. But use these, these guidelines of you know, not cooking, right? Not cooking anything over 108 degrees. You kill the enzymes. You're ruining the nutrition and you're not going to have nutrition in your body and you can't make that up no matter how many vitamins you take. You know, you need to get these from food itself. And if you have food that's not organic, you know, you're, those are, there are chemicals in the food itself. The sprays and things that they put on food are absorbed into the food and you're eating that toxins, those poisons. It's not going to kill you immediately. It's small trace amounts of it, but over time it will accumulate in your body and you'll be sick from it. You know, people spend a lot of money going to doctors and, and getting medicine and things like that. And I think it's far better to, to be healthy and don't rely on those things. Be healthy so that you don't have to rely on those things. Eat healthy food so you don't get sick. 
Drink clean water so you don't get sick. Get plenty of sunshine so you don't get sick. Exercise so you don't get sick. Live a healthy, natural way, the way we're supposed to live. We're not supposed to live the way society tells us we're supposed to live. We're not supposed to gorge ourselves on McDonald's hamburgers and, and eat toxic food or packaged food that has absolutely no nutrition. You know, most of the packaged food they have in supermarkets, you might as well just eat the cardboard. You're not going to get any more nutrition from the food. It may taste a little better, but it's not going to give you any more nutrition in the cardboard packaging that's outside it. No matter what it says about how many vitamins and minerals are in it, it's not. That is dead food. You know, one of the practices that we did in Hippocrates was, is we would go into a supermarket, close our eyes, and see if we could feel the energy of food, the ener the aliveness of food. And we would walk around and where does everybody end up? In the produce aisle. That's the only place where there's any living food. All the packaged food is dead. There's nothing there that will help you. There's nothing there that will give you health. There's nothing there that will give you the vitamins and minerals that your body needs. It's only in the outside. It's only where, where the, the with the living food is. And even that food, compared to what you get in a farmer's market, you can feel it. The energy of the food in a supermarket is nowhere near as powerful as the food that you'll get at a farmer's market. And if you go, have your own garden or you have sprouts, you know, like these sprouts, the energy of these sprouts is so far more than you're going to even get from the farmer's market because that food is already a day or two old, maybe even a week. These are fresh. They're alive. And you want living food. You want food that's alive. Because you're alive. You know, dead food is not going to help you. Chemicals made in a laboratory are not going to help you, no matter what they say, no matter what the advertisements tell you. It's not going to help you. All the medicines that suppress the symptoms that you have when you have a cold are not going to help you. Your body is telling you, you do this. Yes, does it feel good to have a fever? No. Does it feel good to have a sore throat? No. Does it feel good to be sneezing? No. But those are all your body's means of healing you from whatever it is that it's trying to get out. When you have an allergy, your sneezing is getting that allergy out. That's what's happening. It's clearing that allergy out of you. It's the natural way. So the most important thing about food is to be natural, to have food that's natural. The most important way to live a healthy life is to live a natural life. Live according to the rules of nature, not according to the rules of pharmacies, not according to the rules of, of doctors or Western medicine. Often they don't know. It's very simple. You know what's natural. Look at how wild animals live. They have no doctors. They have no veterinarians. They live a natural life. And yes, we polluted their water and their air and things, so it's harder for them. But if we hadn't done that, they would live a natural life. And we as humans are animals, aren't we? We can also live a natural life. It's possible. It's possible. Think about it. Try it. See what happens. When I first started doing the Hippocrates program 20 years ago, using juices every day, I had so much energy. I used to be a designer and I would work on the computer, writing and designing. And I would have to get up every hour and, and like, you know, do jumping jacks, push-ups, run around the room because I had so much energy. I wasn't used to having that much energy. It took a while for me to be used to having that much energy. I didn't know what it was like to be healthy. But when I started right away, when I started eating this food and, and juicing food and, and eating living sprouts and raw living food and not cooking food. I became healthy. I had so much energy. 
now I'm used to it. I can sit still for, you know, writing and things and, and just let that energy flow through me at the time. At, when I first did it, I didn't know what to do with it. I still have that same energy now, 20 years later, because I live a natural life. I don't invest in chemicals. I don't put chemicals in my body. I'm very careful about what I eat, very disciplined about what I eat. I don't eat for taste. I don't eat for, you know, advertisements or desire, you know. I eat for medicine. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. It's a very intelligent way to live. I hope this has inspired you to try some of this on your own. I promise you this salad will be one of the most amazing things you've ever tasted. Yes, we do learn in Hippocrates how to make delicious food, but it's still, you know, I see food as being medicine. So I'll eat food that is not particularly appealing or appetizing, but it's healthy, right? If you eat a piece of chocolate cake, you're going to have enjoyment for, for what, you know, a minute, a couple of minutes, with each mouthful, a minute, and then it's you've eaten it, and then it's gone. Maybe a few minutes at the most. But when you have health, you have it for life. There's a big difference between a couple of minutes and your entire life. I hope this makes some sense to you, and I hope it inspires you to live a healthier life yourself. To love yourself enough to live a healthy life. Often we don't love ourselves enough to do what's necessary to have a healthy body. I'm suggesting and hoping that you do. Thank you, my friend. Many blessings to you.